Hi, I'm Limpert, also known as the man with military great odds and the reason why Lumbridge has a cemetery. And I'm here today to answer some really important questions regarding my death chunks on my extreme one chunk Iron Man. What will I do when I roll them? Because these are some brutal, brutal grinds that might take years at the least. And that's why I'm making this video because I want to explain to you all what will happen beforehand. So there can be no confusion about what's happening. But before we get into it, it's Raid Shadow Legends. Yes, that's right, Raid is back and of course you know about them because Raid is absolutely massive right now. Awesome champions, intense PvE and PvP content, tactical upgrade systems, sounds pretty good, right? But why should you play Raid? Well, let me tell you. For the regular updates and all the new stuff keeping you on your toes, for the arena where you can PvP with others to test your strength, for the incredible and fun battles, and for the Doom Tower, where you can defeat epic bosses in engaging battles and gain the best loot. But that's not all, Raid's 4th anniversary is finally here and there's a ton to get excited about. I'm talking dedicated offers, free gifts, promo codes, events and a brand new fusion event where you guys can get your hands on anniversary themed legendary champions. You'll also be able to take a trip down memory lane with a recap video of your stats and Raid. Enter the promo code 4 years Raid to celebrate Raid's 4th birthday with some extra loot. Oh, and for Amazon Prime members who just got Gambo, keep an eye out for the next drop with some powerful Savage gear. It's available from March 2nd until March 30th. But there's even more. New players can use my link or scan the QR code right here and get a free starter pack with this cool in-game loot. Link is in the description. So this is my chunk map as of episode 26 of my series and on episode 26 we unlocked uh, Uzer, Narda and Temporos which was unbelievably spooned because on this side we are surrounded by very nasty chunks but the trend for my account since episode 5 has been we got the Shanta Pass and we went deep into the desert unlocking a lot of desert chunks which was unbelievably lucky on one hand but it didn't help me an awful lot with the death chunks that are around me um, but still it was nice to have a lot of grinds were done in the desert Calvert Queen being the biggest one also a uh, big shout out to Paul Nifnich, there were some interesting grinds there. But we have reached a limit for expansion in the desert. Uh, we can't get into Sofenum and can't do raids without a whole slew of quests I don't have. Which means that next time, uh, well, if we, even if we roll desert chunks, we will get stuck on the chunks up here. But what does that actually mean for us? What's so bad about these chunks? Well, if we go uh, over to Draenor, we have the Farming Cape chunk. Uh, Master the Ma Martin the Master Farmer is here. He sells the Farming Cape. And 99 Farming is at this point very, very hard for me. I have two patches unlocked. The Cactus Patch, where I harvest uh, Potato Cactus every 30 minutes, religiously harvesting it. And the Hops Patch, uh, two patches that are not too great. So if we go like this, then we have to complete this chunk with 20k XP a day, which is gonna take probably two years. And that's a long, long time. Although this is not a scenario that's the most likely to happen, it could happen. Probably we'll get uh, one of these patches first, the tree patch chunk or a bush patch chunk. Maybe even drain or manor first, uh, which will also help a lot because there's a belladonna patch with a lot of seeds. I don't see myself unlocking the Felador Cabbage Patch chunk, but it could also happen before we hit this. Either way, it's gonna take at least a year to complete this chunk, which is a long, long time, especially when you're running a YouTube series. But there is also a chunk which is just as scary, and that is this one. It is adjacent to my chunk, so I could unlock it next chunk roll, which is a very scary, scary thought. But yeah, the... Uh, chunk with the runecraft cape and to explain this the only way i can get rune essence pure essence i have to say is from puro puro from essence implings you get on average 2.35 essence per essence impling which is it seems like a lot but it's not because essence implings are notoriously hard to catch they have a respawn timer of 30 seconds and there are only five spawns in Puro Puro, making it so that 
when I was catching essence implings because I did caught I did catch 55k essence implings, which took I want to say four months um, on a good day, which was start in the morning at 9 a.m. stop at midnight on a day, so it's at least 14 hours. I could catch 2,000 to 2,300 ish essence implings. And to complete this chunk, we're going to need half a million. Yes, half a million essence implings, which is going to take many, many, many days to only to collect the essence. And of course, that's a full day of catching and it's very, very <laughs> draining to actually do that, to get, spend an entire day catching them. So that's why this is such a hard grind. And not only that, I will also need to find a way to craft combination runes because those give the best XP. Only I need 40k extra earth talismans if I want to complete it by doing lava runes, which the, own, the best way of getting that is to catch more earth implings, which also takes a long time because just as the essence implings, they have a long respawn timer. So I'll probably have to do the drop trick. Um, in Lumbridge Castle, you can get free uh, air talismans from the Duke, as long as you haven't completed room mysteries, which I can't complete because I don't have Wizard's Tower. Also meaning no Essence Mine, that's the whole kind of problem. But yeah, so that's it's going to take at least a year, I want to say, to complete this. And that's with very, very hard dedication of completing it. So that's why it has the title of Death Junk. Varrock is very scary. Now I want to go over some other chunks that are extremely scary, which I could roll. Uh, number one being the Monastery. It is a long way off, but yes, 99 Prayer. The best way of currently training it is Hill Giants. I'd have to kill, I want to say 600,000 Hill Giants um, to complete this chunk. Probably more. 15 XP per kill, prayer XP per kill is not that much, that much. So the only way of this not becoming a death chunk is unlocking the lumber yard, getting construction levels and actually being able to make an altar. I have some dragon bones from dragon imps, so that's the only way I see not getting absolutely fucked by uh, this chunk is to actually offer some bones to an altar. But this one is unlikely. It's a long way off and a lot, a lot can happen. Another death chunk that I can see is going like, uh, wait, going like this. So we go to Valador, straight to Valador, and then unlocking this chunk. There's an estate agent on this chunk and a garden supplier on the adjacent chunk, which means that I will have to get 99 construction with only garden plants and the cheapest one is a thousand coins. Uh, meaning I'd have to not only plant uh, 200,000 garden plants in my player, player owned house, but I would also need half a billion gold. And if you only have these chunks unlocked, how, how are you gonna get half a million gold? It's gonna be uh, extremely hard. Uh, I'd say this one is actually the least scary though because it uh, gives you a lot to do and it's a lot more interesting than just killing hill giants farming or catching essence implings but it still is scary because that's a lot of gold so i want to talk a little bit about my rule set for this chunk uh, the rules of chunk unlocking if you will i can only unlock chunks that are adjacent to my chunk and not diagonally so if you have one chunk you have four options I like it this way, I chose it this way because the map will look very clean and it minimizes disconnected chunks. Like I have a lot of comments from people that are telling me, why don't you allow canoe stations? You can unlock the champions guild, you can unlock uh, the wilderness and stuff like that. I don't like that it gives you disconnected chunks. Disconnected chunks are just not a good way to do this in my eyes so i also don't allow teleports stuff of that kind uh, 
two ends of a cave system. I also don't do. But I have gotten a lot of comments from people. Uh, comments explaining how they would alter my rule set to make me avoid those chunks. And some of them include allow a reroll after you uh, roll a dead chunk or black out those chunks so they can't be rolled until there's a viable option. Allow chunks that you can teleport to to be unlocked, stuff like that. And to those people I would like to say, who the hell do you think I am? I am Oddsman, I have military grade odds so weaponized that my government wants to send it to Ukraine. No, 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 I'm not gonna alter my rule set, I'm gonna stick with it. I made this rule set, I knew full well what was gonna happen when it got into this, and I'm gonna stick it out. I have a burning hatred for Iron Man series that keep adding rules here and there because they don't want to do this or they do want to do that. It ruins it for me, so that's the entire reason I started this account. Because in the original Chunkman video I thought, why not? Why not include skill capes? So, yes, I don't want to alter my rule set. I will never do this. I won't weasel my way out of a grind. So what am I gonna do when I roll the farming chunk? I'm gonna fucking do it, man. I'm gonna fucking do it. If I roll it and I have to do it for a year, I'll do runecrafting in the meantime. Because I can do that and then I can walk through that chunk. It's gonna be alright. It's just gonna be alright. There's a lot to do in my chunks. I can kill hill giants for bones. I can get planks from Temporos for construction or also from Puro. Doesn't matter. There's a lot to do. There's a lot to prepare. I can keep myself busy and I can keep you entertained in the meantime. Come on. Trust me. I'm gonna pump out some videos for you. Whatever happens. So just stick with me, man. I'll be there for you. You'll be there for me and everything will be alright. And remember, no exceptions. Never weasel out of a grind or else Limp is coming for your ass.